Hello, my name is Tony Gallo. I'm with the Newsmakers Committee at the National Press Club here, and we're very fortunate in having two outstanding speakers speak on the subject of streetcars in America. Uh, they will look at these both from the aesthetic and the economic view and, uh, perspectives. Uh, our two speakers are first, uh, <coughs> alphabetically, uh, Mark Scribner. Mark is a research fellow. Are you still a research fellow? Still am. Well, quite honorable <laughs> at the Competitive Enterprise Institute. He has written on a number of uh, areas of, of public interest too numerous to mention. He is also constantly cited in the press as an expert on the subject, which is how I got his name. Oh, call, call Mark. And uh, then I did get in touch with Mark, and through him we have Dan Tangerlini. Mr. Tangerlini, a very young man. Uh, oh, by, by the way, Mark is a graduate of uh, George Washington University. Uh, Mark is the former administrator of the General Services Administration, formerly the Director of Transportation for the District of Columbia, the Chief Financial Officer of the Treasury Department, and he is still at a very young and tender age, as is Mark. Uh, Dan is a graduate of the University of Chicago and is a fellow graduate of the Wharton School of Finance. We both went to the same institution, only I was there uh, years before he was even born. Uh, with that, we begin the uh, discussion. Each man will speak 10 or 15 minutes. We will field questions from the audience here. And please identify yourself. I, we will call on you. And so, thank you very much. Mark, can you begin? Well, thank you, Tony, and uh, thank you all for being here. I'm Mark Scribner. I direct uh, the Transportation <laughs> Research and Advocacy Programs at the Competitive Enterprise Institute, which is a free market think tank based here in Washington, now in its fourth decade. I'm assuming that many of us uh, here are district residents and have become all too familiar with mixed traffic streetcars in recent years. Uh, what I hope to do today is convince you, if you still need convincing, that streetcars are an inefficient and obsolete mode of mass transit when compared to their modern alternatives and that they serve to distract us from legitimate urban transportation issues.